Happy New Year, everyone. My name is Vasu Menon from OCBC Wealth Management. 2022 was a very challenging year for investors, but will 2023 be a better year? To help answer this question, I have Feng Shui Master Ken Ko with me this Chinese New Year. Welcome, Master Ken. Thank you for having me. But this is not Chinese New Year enough. Here we are. Wow, this looks and feels so much better. The year of the water rabbit. What does it mean for wealth and prosperity? Well, the year of the water rabbit comprises two elements, water over wood. Water component propagates emotions, intelligence, for example, whereas the element of wood which is representative and symbolic of the rabbit, gives you resilience, offers you flexibility. So yes, I would say that there are plenty of opportunities for growth or wealth. So how does the water rabbit year compare with last year, the tiger year? 2022, the year of the tiger was very much a year of lost of directions. Whereas 2023, in the year of the water rabbit, offers you gradual opportunities for growth. In other words, we just need to use the intelligence to make sure that we're able to harness the opportunities to bring us the relevant wealth. In the year of the water rabbit, which are the industries or sectors that are likely to do well? Metal industries cover banking, payment gateways, engineering, think about EVs, Jewelry, for example, there are the people who are going to benefit financially in the year 2023. The second half of 2023 favors the fire element. Stocks, investments, anything that's to do with alternative energy. Now, earth industries such as REITs and real estate, data storage facilities also going to lead itself to exponential growth for the next 20 years. Wood industries like education, M&As, Hostel facilities are a little bit misleading. Water is associated with travel and hospitality can be misleading, but it all depends how COVID-19 is further managed, how it turns out to be benefiting certain sectors. In terms of wealth and prosperity, which are the zodiacs that are likely to be lucky in 2023 and which are the ones that need to be a bit more cautious? First stop, people who are born area red this year, if they are able to capture these opportunities as presented to them, they are the one ranked first of the 12th zodiac in terms of wealth factors. People with the dog this year has got this star of opportunities whereby they are in absolute control. So dogs this year will be able to foresee or even forecast within themselves the opportunities as well as the gaps that exist within the market itself. The rabbit itself, although they are in a clash relationship against the year, has some endowment of wealth opportunities. These opportunities relate to their opportunities, which is coming from good intelligence. So good advice is important. Roosters is in a direct clash against the rabbit year. So people who born your year rooster this year, you'd have to be a little bit taken away from the emotional aspects of investments. Ox this year obviously has got no positive stars, but that does mean that you should not be able to benefit partner people who are born your year red. So go and look for your red wealth managers, for example. Tiger this year has got good stars aligned for them in so far as good timing is concerned. So do not be overly speculative, be prudent, be financially savvy, and you'll get your game right. Putting it all together, how do our viewers harness the investment opportunities and how do they manage the risk in the year of the water rabbit? What are your key takeaways? First and foremost, beware of deception and don't be led by false euphoria. The rapid year can be deceptive, so don't be overconfident and never underestimate the risk. Markets will remain volatile, therefore, tread carefully. Secondly, take a mid to long term plan to invest. Maintain clarity with a clear plan. And for 2023, given the risk of over optimism and misjudgment, care is to be exercised. Use market intelligence. Get first-hand and clear information from the experts. 
And that's your wealth bankers. With the academic star in the rabbit year, intelligence coupled with expert opinion and guidance can be beneficial in helping to reduce the risk. Fourthly, invest now. With good medium term prospects, it is important to stay invested, be patient, don't panic, and never react to short term events. From what we've heard today, investment opportunities can be found in 2023. So it's important for investors to stay invested and to be patient and not overreact to short-term events. To you, our viewers, we thank you for tuning in. As what Master Ken said, if you need expert advice, rest assured that at OCBC, we can help you navigate the uncertainties in the year ahead. Now, on behalf of OCBC Bank, let me wish you a very happy and prosperous 2023. Sing in quality.